Hey everyone, my name is Jeffrey Way and welcome back to NetTuts. In today's video quick tip, we're going to take a look at a nifty little CSS feature for reflections. So you may not know in certain browsers, you can apply full CSS reflections to elements, uh, to images, even to video. So if you apply a CSS reflection to the video element, you will actually see the video playing within the reflection as well. It's pretty nice. Uh, this is exclusive to WebKit, unfortunately, so that means it's going to work on the iPad, on the iPhone, and Safari, and Chrome. So for desktops, that amounts to around 19% of all browser usage, so it's not too bad, and it's just a little bit of an enhancement. Uh, the reflection doesn't have to be applied in IE. No big deal. Okay, so I've created a little demo for us, uh, mimicking some kind of blog, and you can see the reflection for the post image, uh, that's all CSS. And that's what we're going to build today. If I refresh the page, this is where we are starting. So I've simply gotten that image, floated it to the left, added some margin, some font, pretty simple stuff. So to begin creating our reflection, we do WebKit box reflect. And it first wants to know which direction. Should it go above, below? We're going to put our reflection below. And next it wants to know how much spacing should there be between the image and the beginning of the reflection. I'm going to set that around four pixels. And finally, we want to set a, uh, a box. Uh, we want to set a gradient, a mask, so that it looks like the reflection is fading out. So we can do WebKit gradient, and it's going to be a linear gradient. It's going to go from top to bottom, so left top to left bottom. And it wants to know where to begin. We're going to begin at transparent. And we're going to go to white. So if I refresh the page, this is what we get. So you can see right off the bat that four pixels that we applied at the top, that's what makes up that little bit of spacing. So if I increase that to 40, you'll see the difference. Okay, so you can even go to a negative number if I set that to negative 50, but that kind of ruins the effect of your reflection. So try to keep it at a positive number anywhere from 0 to 10. Should work just fine. So we have one problem though, is we may not want to reflect the entire image. That takes up way too much space. And it should also be noted that uh, reflections, they're not, they don't really take up space in terms of the page. So it would be the same thing as if you applied a text shadow or something like that. So that means text will flow right over it. Okay, so that's something you should keep in mind. So with that in mind, why don't we just make the reflection much more minimal? Uh, instead of going all the way from zero to visible, why don't we set a color stop? Uh, from and to, those are simply helper functions for color stop. So color stop, we could even replace from with uh, just FYI, zero, transparent. We could do that as well, okay? But they're nice helper functions and we'll keep using them. So we're gonna set a color stop and why don't we set it at 0.5 and set that to transparent. So what that's going to do is it's saying when you get to the 50% mark, it should still be transparent. And then only from that point do you begin going to full visibility. So if I change that color stop to 0.9, it's saying all the way up to 90% should be transparent and then that remaining 10% go from zero to one. So you might wanna change this to 0.6, maybe 0.7, you can play around with it a little bit. And of course, uh, not of course, but one helper, helpful thing is we can apply rounded corners to images with WebKit border radius. Unfortunately, though we have Moe's border radius, we can't actually apply uh, the radius to images in Firefox. So if I set that to 10 so you can easily see that's being applied. Let's go ahead and add the official version. And if I set, lastly, border color, um, three pixels solid, uh, the borders will also be applied to the reflection as well. So let me know what you think. It's just a nice little enhancement. You can uh, be as creative as you want with it, and that's pure CSS reflections.